on wave one firebase giant and of course they spawn down there as usual yep, yep. nope actually not they're all inside how about that this is where they usually spawn on that place map. either here or just down there do you see my toilet again down at the bottom yeah. and up the top bam Headshots. I don't have another headshot. And then on the other side again. Hello! I'll set you on fire and I'm gonna bash the piss out of you. <laughs> Shoot you in the face and smack you again in the face. There we go. That's how wars go in the future. <laughs> Star Wars was in the past, this is the future. a med pack on a low level or low wave. Not necessary. Locate the central server down there. They have intel on our fleet's weaponry. Oh, right. Pack the security on the data terminal. Yeah, I try not to use med packs for long time. Have some faith in your teammates, man. Alright, everybody, try to get into the zone, Kenny. Just get this hack done as quickly as we can. Get a bit more money. Oh, I, I just had to carve a path, that's all. You're just lazy. No, I ran taken. into a whole pack of spawn troopers. So. The goddamn destroyer, man. You're like the Chuck Norris of Mass Effect. Unless Chuck Norris is around, of <laughs> course. Then Chuck Norris is the Chuck Norris of Mass Effect. No, Chuck Norris has a lot more flexibility. That's kind of like a fiddle. <laughs> What did you say, mate? Huh? I, I missed that last one, you know, what you said. Chuck Norris has more flexibility. This guy's more like a turtle. Chuck Norris has a beard. Had... He doesn't need yeah, any. Too. He doesn't need flexibility. He has it, but he doesn't need it. <laughs> he just looks at the beard, strokes his beard like. He doesn't even need to stroke his beard like, oh fuck, you're already paralyzed. <laughs> Yeah, I just use my grenade launcher to cut a path. I mean, if the Reapers would have ever... Well, of course they wouldn't be able to, but in, th in like, in theory, if they would be able to, uh... Like, manipulate him. I mean, the universe would be fucked already. Just, uh, nothing Shepard could do. <laughs> nothing Cerberus needed to do. Yep. Just be... Whoop. Everybody surrenders. All humans get eaten, turn into a Reaper, and that's it. I thought they were melt melted. Melted, whatever. Yeah, even melted. Yeah. Same end result. Dead. And then. Flip. Oh god, I love the shield so much. I love it when I can use it. <laughs> Shit you in the foot! Only against guardians is this guy not so but everything else he's just bitching. And if only can get upgrade this valley and even further, I'll be very happy camper. I do have the black widow, but it makes the guy too heavy, so the reloads times uh, are too slow for me. Yeah. This is the reason I am not black using <laughs> this reload times don't matter. Huh? So, because reload times don't matter. That guy. Mm -hmm. oh, not, not really. <laughs> not on Demolisher either. One more and it's a wrap. Oh, if you want to shoot me, bitch, I'll smack your ass. Bam! <laughs> Two times. 
Awesome. Awesome. That's a beautiful fight. Sometimes actually when you're lucky, like they like sometimes like fly high up in the sky, even just with a shield pass. Usually <laughs> if you manage to hit them and someone makes a combo, they're like, like off the goddamn yeah. map. It's also fun waiting for a character to walk up the stairs and just like wing there. Hi. <laughs> Melee in the face. Very well done on the Atlas, guys. And all girls. Nice, relaxing silver matches. That's the only problem with this area up here. A downed pilot jettisoned his cargo. So everybody's down there and one guy's up here? Yeah, they're okay. spawning up here. There's actually a game, um I used to play the multi co op in the Spin Circle Viction for a bit. Uh -huh. It's the only bit of it I actually enjoyed, not the single player. But there was a map where I like, sort of had also this like, kind of wave gameplay. Mm -hmm. And there was one map where you could like block all the... Effectively block all but one spawn point. So you basically just... And both guys could still see that one spawn point. So you just like aim at the door and shoot the shit out of everything coming out of that door. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kenny. So the only thing we did is like take a buttload of ammo and just like <laughs> spray at the door. There's a turret there. Oh, there. Yeah, I've done that before too. But, uh. Kind of losing hope for Splinter Cell series with the Blacklist shit. Blacklist? Yeah, the new uh, installment of Splinter Cell. It's basically less original Splinter Cell and more everything else. Huh. Basically a ramped up version of Conviction. Which I kind of thought like raped Sam Fisher a little bit. So I'm kind of glad that Michael Ironside realized that. And you can actually call in a goddamn rocket strike. <laughs> the fuck? Is it effective? Of course it's effective, but it's not exactly stealthy. <laughs> no. Well, I basically made it an action, uh, yeah, a stealth action game. Instead of a stealth game. Ooh, ooh, Phantom wants to play. Oh, well, I can bash too. Bam. One energy drain, two, three strikes, and she did. On silver anyways, two, three strikes. On gold, you don't want to do that, what I just did. Yeah, of course. This is fucking mental. Damn. There's a lot you don't want to do with the Phantoms between silver and gold.
Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah. That wasn't too bright of me. You down too? Yeah, I ran across a bit. Oh, there's a phantom here, of course. Yes. Bam! Oh, she jumped over. What a skank. Why is she bam? Jesus Christ. Get out of here. Where the hell did the phantom go? Like I said, you don't want to use that move. Just training and try to bash Phantom on gold or platinum. Gosh. One, there will be too many other enemies around, and she'll be too strong for it. It'd be an effective strategy. Yeah, but it's very fun, even doing, even if it's only on silver. Ah, damn it! Well, this Bakum works pretty good against them. Sorry? This Bakum works great against them. <laughs> Jesus! Look at the girl! That and huh? bam! Bam! Like that. I actually had an enemy that was stuck one of behind those, one of those uh, trucks. <laughs> outside the map bounds. And the, and the, th the shitty thing was... You you can't shoot through the trucks. You actually hit the truck, and he was behind it, behind the second one. <laughs> so that was a pain in the butt. And eventually, I we managed to kill him and get the game going. You're like like oh, and actually last time out, I'm not sure if we got a guy stuck on the opposite side, outside the level bounds. Uh -huh. I managed to get him with a um, incinerate just because I because I could curve it. Actually, yeah, that's what I like about the Falcon. Is you can bounce it off the walls. And, yeah. I don't think you would have been able to hit it with a Falcon because you can bounce it anywhere else. Uh, follow me up here, Kenny, by the, the ammo box at the back. Okay. Showed the viewers as well. See, the we, character was stuck right behind this wall. The short wall where I'm standing at. Oh, right there? Yeah, like on, on the left of this, so it was pretty hard to see. Oh, yeah. You could barely see it. Alright, just yeah. in time before we deploy the. Oh, crap, there's another one here now. Yeah, that worked. Thanks for the shields, engineer. All right, let's go. Let's. Let's stand there. Who's this ball when I go? Yeah, let's go to church for now. Careful, there's a phantom behind us. Oh Christ almighty. Sometimes I get so relaxed on silver, like like forget about the objective, like oh shit, wait, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's how we come up to do. Yeah. Credits, that's what's wrong. Coming, Lenny. Oh, that's hatch roll, by the way, Ken. Or Lenny, whatever. Lenny. Does Lenny from The Simpson actually have a last name? Because well I can't think of it. I don't know. I've only watched it twice. The Simpsons. Yeah. Why well, people check out the goddamn uh, Simpsons wiki and find me that shit out? Oh crap! Oh, 
there's one inside there as well. Oh, mailbox. <laughs> mailbox. Mailbox. Mailbox is uh, shooting a guardian through the slot. Cool. This is what I uh, dub a mailbox. It's a bit harder with this rifle. I had a rifle where pretty much every shot, if I got it right on the box, it was a hit, but it's not the case with the Valiants, I have to say. What level is it? Uh, four, I think. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I only got one, I ain't used it yet. Well, I, want, I was looking actually for an alternative which had more, more multiple shots in the clip. That's some decent specs. Well, three is more than one. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I've, it's uh, grown on me. I have, like, after I started using it in single player, like a bit as a sniper class. Alright, this thing is pretty freaking good. We got the Valiant, that's what, six shots? Sorry? The Valiant is six shots? Or is that the man? The Valiant has thrown three shots. Oh, so it's the Mantis. Mantis has two shots. So the Mantis has only one shot? The Viper has more than multiple shots, yeah, but it's not as powerful yeah, as the Valiant. Viper. Right. But they usually compromise a lot more on firepower. Yes, yes, yes. The Valiant is a well, nice balance between like the lighter weight, three shots, and a decent, uh, decent power. Wait. Yeah. We went through that pretty fast. I can actually do another match. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So equip up. Kit up. And... Mm hmm. Let me kit up. Get up.